hi everyone welcome to another new video so in this video i am going to discuss about maxthon cloud browser in this video i will discuss about its feature pros cons so let's start the video so first one is pros plenty of browsing helper feature cloud syncing of tab password and more block as so cons tabs not as flexible as in other browsers slow in testing privacy concerns next one has been a refreshing addition of the web browser landscape since its launch in 2008 where other have been paring down their feature for a spider minim minimalist experience next one take the opposite approach adding as many browsing helpers as possible the latest of these is built in ad blocker which join its media downloader screen capture to reader mode and several other distinctive features However, Maxon Trail, Internet, Titans, Chrome, and Firefox in some important interface and under the hood aspects. The released version of Maxon remains a twin engine browser, including both Internet Explorer, Trident Pages, Rendering Engine, and WebKit. which power safari and chrome maxthon also offer on a new beta x5 version of the its browser which it calls an information assistant with an updated look improved cloud storage a password manager and an email lead leader the company produces yet another browser called nitro which a simplified app built for speed alone installation maxthon is available for windows version from xp through windows 10 at $139 at Microsoft Store in both 32 and 64 bit edition as well as for Mac, Linux, Android iOS and Windows Phone it is a cross platform as it gets a small installer mini program put helper apps on your PC that notify you when the when new version is available it also let you decide where to download the browser where to put any shortcuts which browser to set as system default whether or not to join product improvement program before you first launch the browser a message box tell you that all ad block plus is now included the first page shown after installation or you have to sign up for maxthon password the company cloud syncing and storage services which is required for use of some maxthon clever clever features Each interface makes thon different from most browser by having toolbar rail across the left edge of its window with buttons for favorite for download RSS feed and notes you can add to the button sidebar using extensions similar to Vivaldi web panels a page holder smiley face button shows up at the top left corner of the browser window clicking this takes you to a login dialog on makes thon passport which changes the smiley to your user photo and adds easy access to social networks so here is the interface you can check as with firefox maxthon keeps the search box separate from the address book a privacy advantage since the address search box combination sends every url you enter to the search provider as with any browser these days if you type something in the address box Yes, not a URL. You can still search or see matching favorite or history if you enable this in setting. Cloud syncing and start page. Next one also has the ability to synchronize bookmarks, tab options, the address bar, new tab links, and password among all the next one instances on computer and mobile devices you are logged in. You can also sync notes feature a company called SkyNote unlike Firefox tab syncing however Maxon does not actually replicate the tab set on the second machine but it uh, it does show what tabs are open on each devices and each machine set as open all devices tabs Maxon tab implementation is usually a weak spot you can rip tab out to create a new browser window as you can must other browser tab pinning which you get the other big browser is also missing another minor inconvenience is that you can not close the tab unless it's active the tab story is not bad however the browser or does offer a unique 
the browser does over a unique split screen view that shows two two contents of the two tabs side by side. I find this useful for web page comparison. A button drop down lets you close or refresh all tabs at once, which is also handy.